Hello, Happy New Year and greetings from beautiful California. I'm so happy to see you again. This is Alec from Nature with Alec YouTube channel. Today I would like to invite you to an amazing journey of beautiful nature, including dragon fruits, monarch butterflies and hummingbirds. It is January 2021 and it's beautiful time for hummingbirds to build their nest and have little chicks. So I will update you every week with more videos about the hummingbirds, how they building the nest, how they have chicks, you know, and chicks start to exercise. So it's amazing, amazing, amazing journey. Okay, so right now behind me, it's a honeysuckle plant. So just found one more plant um, one more uh, nest is building just behind me. I have multiple hummingbird feeders around as well as in the dragon fruit and it's around our house and you'll see how they live, how they protect their property, how they build the nest and have a beautiful chicks. Okay, so Izzy is gonna go have fun and I will continue to introduce you to a beautiful nature. Okay, so let's take a look over here. So. I was just walking around and you saw the first nest was start building here just on the side of the uh, one of the branch of honeysuckle and you can see right here see the nest and it's very very soft and I'll show you exactly how does it look inside okay so uh, she's building the nest right on um, very easy branches over here so you see it's all hanging and it's free it's uh, well protected from big predators so nobody will get access to it okay and here you go here's the the nest of hummingbird on the right you see how tiny it is See how small it is? And I just made an example of the um, the egg, which will be laid later. So this is just a um, half shell of uh, peanut shell. So you can see exactly the size. It will be size probably of the uh, your pinky nail, tiny, tiny. And the hummingbird will lay two beautiful nests, uh, two beautiful um, eggs in this nest. And this is just example of a uh, uh, red-tailed hawk, which was uh, built um, just on above our uh, palm, just above our house. So you see that one, and we're just blown um, down after the strong wing. Uh, so basically, we had yeah, we had a family of uh, uh, red-tailed hawk had the nest over there and chicks. Okay, so we're back to nest. So I'll just show you uh, the hummingbird nest first. So she's building from uh, a spider web, and basically she collects all the spider web uh, from all around the plants in the house, and she is like carefully, carefully inserting that in the uh, attaching to the branch, and that gives nice and warm, like a mitten uh, type. So. First, it's, it's become like a cone, and then later, when the chicks become bigger, they expand and getting like size flat as a plate so they can uh, sit together and uh, enjoy their time. As you can see outside, um, she um, as well protected with uh, chips of paint. She collects uh, the, those chips of paint, I think it's like kind of paper, but it seems like. Um, it's not shredded paper, it's more like chip of uh, paint around the house that she can collect and attaches outside so it will probably 
good protection to the wind and um, inside is very nice and warm and uh, dry so she'll protect the chicks and eggs for next uh, two to three weeks until the hatch and uh, she's supposed to keep nice warm um, temperature um, the hummingbird usually um, it's a uh, it's a female she's building the nest um, during like five seven days within the week I'm sure they're gonna build the nest and uh, she's the only one who actually taking care of the um, building the nest taking care of the uh, feeding the chicks and sitting on the on the eggs for um, three weeks I believe so so um, that's an amazing job she's doing she's very hard-working uh, bird okay so here we go so that's the nest of the hummingbird and this is the size of the this is the size of the uh, egg you would probably see it later okay and here we go this is the nest of red tail hawk uh, as you can see it's built from um, palm uh, material it's a thread I'm sure little those tiny uh, thread that they pull but it's interesting how they made it all together tied together and it's become very very strong as well as very nice and soft uh, place uh, for the eggs inside and feels very warm and uh, beautiful uh, beautiful bedding for the eggs okay so I'll go introduce you a little bit more to um, bird feeders the humming bird feeders okay so we have couple on our uh, dragon fruit plant here so here's the simple bird feeder which I fill up with the sweet water and have nice uh, flower shape entrance so they with a the long beak they can go inside and drink the sweet nectar which I mix uh, uh, one-fifth of uh, container I fill up with sugar and four fifth of the container gets uh, boiled water I mix it well uh, put boiled water so it will disinfect very well it would not create any bacteria inside and then I mix it when it cool down I just hang over here uh, on our bar and I enjoying sitting here on the dragon fruit with beautiful so this is the last fruit that we need to collect it's a beautiful uh, laverne red dragon fruit it's very tiny we just collect another one uh, close to a little bit two pounds and uh, here's the last one uh, and actually the, the the new harvest of 2021 so here we are and we'll move on we'll see another nest just in front of my window where actually I'll be happy to make a pictures and I set up two cameras two Arlo cameras that will monitor every minute the activity around the nest and I record that she's she's building the nest every five minutes starting like probably 7 30 in the morning until 4 30 p.m. she's bringing every five minutes tiny little bit spider web and a little material and she's little by little building it and I get notifications and uh, record everything and hopefully we'll build the video and we'll keep you updated as well throughout the week thank you so much see you soon and here we go so uh, I'm at my observation desk I'm just you know five couple feet away from the window where the hummingbird actually building the nest on those beautiful decoration lights and Izzy is enjoying to see them as well Izzy say hi good boy okay so here we go I'll just gonna show you very carefully the whole setting what it's been done okay just running over the window Hoop. here we go so this is a beautiful um, uh, set that I did so those lights uh, decoration lights they've been sitting here for many many years and the hummingbirds actually like to hang on them and build the nest okay as you can see it's it's very good remind them of the nature of those branches that we saw in the back with the um, honeysuckle plant so those protected well under the roof uh, no rain no strong wind because we have an additional wall over here that protects and basically this been used this area has been used probably for last three years when the um, 
hummingbirds start building nests in January until probably May. Last year we have three seasons when they have uh, uh, when the uh, mama hummingbird build the nest from January, March, and then the, in May. So basically, uh, so it's amazing life of the whole cycle, you know, from the building the nest and continue. She, I, I believe she reused one time, she used the nest and she lay eggs again. So this year I removed the old nest that I showed before and I left a little bit like over here as well on this side. I left a little bit uh, the spider web, which I collected just around like over here. I left them spider web and she can pick up from any corner and I wrap around and she remember exactly the spot where to come back and build another nest. So this work has been done for a couple days. She started working like probably three days ago, beginning of the year, and uh, will take you probably a week to complete the nest. It's gonna be nice and soft, and then she is gonna lay eggs. Um, one leg first, and then probably a day or two later, second egg, and she will sit on those eggs for weeks until they hatch. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'd like to show you the setting what I did. Okay, so you can see I set the like uh, two Arlo cameras, which is uh, one is above pointing to the nest and one is the side camera pointing this way. So you can see in my videos how she's building it and uh, and uh, she's coming very, very often. As well as I have another hummingbird feeder on this side and the beautiful uh, cocktail plants over here and uh, the pomegranate trees which I was happy to share with all the um, friends and uh, subscribers around the world and uh, as you can see the, the hummingbird sitting there she loves this tree and little chicks uh, when they actually start to exercise this is the first place when they go to this uh, pomegranate plant and they feel protected and they feel very easy to fly back and forth uh, between those uh, uh, lights and uh, back to the nest and then within probably a week they become strong enough so they can start flying around and enjoying the time. Okay, so here we go. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I would so happy to uh, have this journey with you and please share with other friends and families so we'll keep you updated and wish you all the best stay strong stay healthy and let's enjoy 2021 have a good one thank you alec